I'm filming a stand-up special this weekend in Chicago, and I will admit, balancing the show and fine-tuning the special in these last days, it is a lot on my plate. And I say that because maybe that's why this corrections will be a little <laughs> The plural of minimum is not minimums, it's minima. On the same note, the plural of maximum is maxima. So if someone says, I drive a Nissan Maxima, that's one car. But if they say, I drive Nissan Maxima, that means they drive multiple Nissan Maximas. <laughs> I explained it. Not the joke. I explained why it would be <laughs> Last week, I said Nick Cage bought a dinosaur skull that had been illegally abducted from Mongolia. Many of you took issue with the word abducted, claiming that's only the correct usage when a person has been taken, not a thing. I did take it as a direct quote from an interview Nick Cage did with the New York Times about the dinosaur skull. And at the end of the day, when you're trying to decide who's right as to whether you can use abducted for a thing, you know, Ty goes to the guy who bought the dinosaur skull. He did give it back, which I thought was nice. I would imagine when you give back a dinosaur skull that you have in your home, it leaves like a giant empty space. <laughs> and then Nick Cage has to go to like a West Elm <laughs> and say, uh, I need something the size of a T-Rex skull. <laughs> Ideally not illegally abducted. Maybe, maybe Sandberg got it from me. <laughs> I don't know who stole the impression from who. Hey, um, I, last time I was on Stephen Colbert. What a delight. Late show, first time. And we actually did some corrections of his. Uh, and somebody wrote in my comics after that, gosh, Colbert seems really nice. How do we get to be one of his jackals? I'm sorry, are you on a leash I don't know about? <laughs> It's the same YouTube. <laughs> we had a joke, <clears throat> excuse me, about Donald Trump not tipping in a monologue, and then we showed a receipt of his order. Uh, a couple things. Many of you did, you did the total and said uh, we were off by $150. Um, and uh, thank you for that. You also said this did not seem like the sort of items that Donald Trump would order at a restaurant. I think that's fair. I think if Donald Trump spent that much, we know his order would be... 55 burgers, 55 fries, 55 tacos, 55 pies, 55 coke, 100 tater tots, 100 pizzas, 100 tenders, 100 meatballs, 100 coffees, 55 wings, 55 shakes, 55 pancakes, 55 pasta, 55 peppers, and 155 taters. <laughs> That won the Emmy in this category. <laughs> but I don't think are eligible this year. So we showed it. We had a joke about, uh, somebody thought that was too red, the hair of Jolene. Don't have a joke for that, just. Thought it was interesting, somebody thought it was worth saying. <laughs> um, so this was a, he got endorsed by a senior citizens group and someone took a picture and they said that thumb would be wrong. Because that's the thumb you would have on a selfie and that's not a selfie. <laughs> day drinking, someone wrote in the day drinking comments, you need to stop doing these, you're embarrassing yourself. I guess my question for you is when did we get married? <clears throat> uh, Jaeger bomb is when you drop a Jaeger into a Red Bull. We dropped it into a beer. We got that wrong. Um, oh, we had a joke. A 97-year-old woman in Utah recently received her high school diploma. Wow, 97. Man, she must be dumb. <laughs> Later in the monologue, we had a photo of a teenager and a different joke. And then I, on my own, said uh, he's studying for finals with that 97-year-old. 
And then a bunch of you said, why, if she'd already graduated, why was she studying for finals? Because she's dumb. <laughs> uh, we had a joke about Hunter Biden being mad about the fact that he might go to jail for a nonviolent offense while the White, Hot, the White House dog had bit a bunch of Secret Service agents and its only punishment was getting sent back to Delaware. And the problem is, Major is the White House dog that got sent back to Delaware. Commander is the dog that bit a bunch of Secret Service agents. And we sort of, so we didn't know how to split the difference um, as to which one we should put in the joke. And we spent a lot of time, uh, the staff trying to decide if we should say Major or Commander. And in the end, the only thing we could decide on as far as the correct dog's name is that Cricket is the name of the dog that Christy Nome killed. <laughs> You can get eye tattoos. <laughs> I busted on Trump for asking whether you, um, he asked, I should say, at a rally, uh, whether you should stay on a sinking electric boat and risk getting electrocuted or whether you should jump towards the shark. And I made the argument that you should jump away from the shark. You know, you don't have to jump toward the shark. And then someone said, actually, uh, swimming away from a shark is the worst thing you can do because a shark will then chase you. It will have sense of you. And, and they said, um, the best thing you should do is stand still. Stand still in the water. Is that how this works? <laughs> uh, sometimes we show a clip of Jake Tapper being sarcastic towards a guest, and then we say, you just got tapped. And someone wrote, why is the tapped logo over Seth's face? Shouldn't it go over the face of the person who got tapped? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it should. <laughs> Did my Larry David vampire last week? A Lot of comments about how it didn't sound anything like Larry David. The most hurtful one was, the vampire sounded way more like Bernie with a touch of Seinfeld than me. If the me didn't give it away, that was a text from Larry David. <laughs> it didn't sound like Bernie Sanders, though. Bernie Sanders' vampire would sound like this. I am sick and tired! <laughs> Of the top 1% of vampires getting 99% of the blood. <laughs> Not all vampires are wealthy. We think about the vampires in the castles. <laughs> Not all vampires have hallways lit by candelabra. <laughs> what about the blue collar vampires? <laughs> who have to work? <laughs> Two to three jobs a week, a week. All night shifts. <laughs> and fail. Fails the healthcare. We forget that if a snake goes through a vampire's heart, they die, but if they misses the heart, they need healthcare. <laughs> All right, but if it was Larry David, if we could get him to do it, curb your vampirism. Here's my pitch for the first episode. Uh, Larry, vampire, has a new girlfriend, also a vampire. Vampires can't see their reflections, right? So they're going to a party, and she asks him how she looks, because she has no way of knowing, right? And then he goes, eh. Anyway. Eh. I think early in the episode, all she's She's riding him because it's been a week after daylight savings and he hasn't changed the clocks. And at the end of the episode, they have a big fight. And she's like, well, I'm gonna get home before the sun comes up. But she got the time wrong. So she runs out of the front door, up in flames. <laughs> and he goes, the clocks! Dun, 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 dun. Somebody wrote, dogs do not sweat. They cool themselves by panting. 
And then I saw the most terrifying thing under that. 52 replies. <laughs> uh, celebrity baby teeth, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's no way out of it. It's the most common comment now is please stop doing celebrity baby teeth. I get it. I hope you appreciate I can't get out of it. Let's just get through it as fast as we can. Just kidding, it didn't come like that. We added it to the tooth. Cute, right? At this point, you might be wondering why you, the viewer, are still watching Celebrity Baby Teeth. Or perhaps you're asking yourself just how deep this twisted rabbit hole goes. <laughs> Don't try to answer those questions. Instead, answer this one. Can you guess whose baby teeth these are? If you, for some reason, guessed British power couple, David and Victoria Beckham, then you are correct. Um, all right, it was a very short one. Like I said, I got a lot on my plate. And um, I can't stress enough, this is the least important thing I do. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? I'll see, you'll see me next week.